रिसर्च में एकदम बड़ी यूज होने वर्ड हो फिर के पाराडाइम भर कन्फ्यूज हो दिश इज भेरी यूजफुल एंड भेरी इंपोर्टेंट वर्ड की वर्ड इन द फील्ड अफ रिसर्च पाराडाइम इज ए भ्यू अफ दी वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड भ्यू भाजपा हाउ डू यू लुक एट ए पर्टिकुलर अब्जेक्ट और हाउ डू यू लुक एट ए पर्टिकुलर सीचुएसन और पर्टिकुलर कंटेक्स्ट है इट्स अल अबाउट योर वे अफ थिंकिंग योर वे अफ लुकिंग हाउ व्हाट इज योर नॉम और व्हाट इज योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट इज योर वे अफ थिंकिंग वे अफ लुकिंग टुवर्ड्स द पर्टिकुलर प्रब्लम और पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट और पर्टिकुलर अब्जेक्ट we all see the world around uh, around us in accordance with a certain paradigm you know what we believe to be reliable and true true or what we believe it is truth just that you are a little imagine gar in your classroom with friends you know you are few people and then your friends are there you are talking about a particular subject matter and then there are different perspectives right a different way of thinking different way of looking at that particular subject in the just a let's say you are talking about uh, clothes in right? a clothing what about your wearing fashion this may actually soon you there are multiple way of uh, looking at that get up in right? a dress up the fashion हमें जुनसुक हेरी भी व्हाट एवर फेनोम और व्हाट एवर एक्सपेक्ट एस्पेक्ट अफ दि सोसाइटी वी लुक एट वी हेव सर्ड एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन आवर बैक हेड है हम कहीं हो ओके ठमेल वर्ड सुनो देन वी मेक ए प्रस्पेक्टिव है अब हमी तैंस बड़ी इन्काउंटर छ clubbing if you are encountered with clubbing and then your immediate image is club you know if you are the uh, street light lover and then you have been to there for uh, observation of the street light and then whenever you hear the word thermal and then you make that perspective of wow lighting right so it is all about the a way of looking at particular thing hai na tela chai aba ke le asar garcha ta garcha hola ta paradigm lai timle kunai pani vastu lai athwa kunai pani euta bishay lai kasari herne bhanne kura lai ke le chai farak parcha hola ke le asar garcha hola your surroundings hai na your learning your experience your encounter sometimes we make some really great assumption about the globe hai na kotai kai le kai baira tira bidesh tira ka bare ma kunai particular प्रेसिडेन्ट को बारे में अथवा कस को बारे में हमें इंटरनेशनल कुछ हम एकदम कर भादा खेल इट इज नट दैट क्लोज विथ आवर नलेज है सो यू डेवलप योर वर्ल्ड भ्यू इन एकर्डिंग्स टू योर नलेज लेवल हाउ नलेजेबल यू आर इन टू दैट पर्टिकुलर subject matter confirmation bias bhanch hai yo paradigm ma chai euta favor information that confirms preconceptions and hypothesis 
whether true or not. You know, just because you have a bias, you have to develop on a certain world view. Because you are making you are making the world view being based upon your own understanding. You know, to go that way. Favor information that confirms preconceptions. After the month, when you come here, you might see that there is a little bias in your society. Sir. Gather evidence and uh, recall selective memories to support bias. पहले कहते बायस ने इसको टाइम में पहला को मेमोरीज़ आ रही है ना इस तलाई पनी के गर्नु सकनु पर सदा सेलेक्टिव मेमोरी आ रही है पनी कहले कहीं एविडेंस को रूप में जी कॉलेज गर्नु सकनु पर सा पैराडाइम डेवलप गर्ने बेला है ना अपना अंडरस्टैंडिंग डेवलप गर्ने बेला पार्टिकुलरली स्ट्रॉंग फॉर इमोशनली इमोशन संग टॉस करने खाल को तिमरो तिमरो ब्रेन संग तिमरो हार्ट संग टॉस होने खाल को कुने इश्यू आ रुबाए बने तेज में क्यों होने सकता था कॉन्फर्मेशन बायस होने सकता बन जा इंटरप्रेट एम्बिगुअस Evidence as supporting existing uh, existing position manja. Kuni confusing type ko evidence aru aaye bani zee. Supporting existence aile aile ko existing uh, position junsa ni aapnu. Tere position ma basera tela evaluate karnu parsa manja. Hey, don't be that much emotional. You know? While making your Particular perspective towards a particular subject you know, or object. What is paradigm then? You know, other The way you see something that is paradigm, you know, your point of view. What is your point of view? What do you think about this particular matter? That is called point of view. Frame of prefer preference or belief. Paradigm. It's a, it's a frame of preference or belief. It's a limitation. It limits your preference. It frames. It gives you limitation. What you can prefer or what you not. If we start to look at a particular thing from multiple di dimensions or multiple paradigms, and then things get more complicated. Sometimes, that may give a positive result if we interpret it from multiple dimensions. But most of the in most of the cases, if we we use a particular paradigm, and then the result will be more reliable. Okay, the way we understand and interpret the world. Paradigm is the way we understand and interpret the world. Old means the entire uh, societies all around the globe, right? Whichever societies are in uh, existence in the universe. It's like a map of our head, Vansa. Paradigm. How do your head makes particular perception towards a particular condition you know, or particular area 
or a particular subject or particular object, whatever. Okay, then what are different paradigms then? Paradigms, it is way of thinking, way of looking at particular dimension, a particular subject matter, then what are the ways of looking at particular subject matter then? A particular issue, man. how do we look at that particular issue whenever we are researching on it? There are two ways of looking at that particular research issue. Right? One is positivism and another one is interpretivism. Okay. Then what is positivism then? It is a way of looking at the world from the vintage point of scientific method. Positivism is broadly based upon the scientific methods. It is more fact-based. It believes that society is surrounded with the facts. Right? And objective things which can be studied, you know, which can be observed and which can be scientifically proved. Positivism. As a way of looking at the world from the vintage point of scientific method by using the scientific method, which gives accurate information or accurate data. Yeah? Only those objects or events that can be experienced directly should be the object of scientific inquiry, even sir. positivism. Directly observable, directly experienceable, Object should be the or subject uh, or directly uh, experienced subject should be the object for scientific inquiry. Uh, that matter or that issue must be the object for the research, objective for the scientific inquiry, even sir. Hey. It believes on scientific method. Positivism. Hey. Scientific fact based And then it is objective. Hey. There are facts about the human world which are objectively true and that they can be discovered and understood through a scientific method. Everything, whatever uh, are in existence in human society are objectively true. And they are discovered, they are explored, they are uh, uh, these concepts where are these uh, 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 existing things, objective truths were discovered through a scientific method. Everything was discovered through scientific method. It's not about explanation. It's not about interpreting the things, but it is the fact. Positivism. And then what is interpretivism then? Reality and knowledge are socially constructed by human beings. These are not scientific. These are not facts. These are 
constructed. It has explanations because reality and knowledge are socially constructed by human beings. Yeah. So they were not in existence before it has socially constructed by human society. Yeah. Interpretivism because it interprets the ideas and give, try to give give some new knowledge, tries to give some new knowledge. Everything is the construct of the society, one says it. It is interrelated to each other. Poverty and education, they are related to each other, one says it. Whereas the positivist result, like a the positivist theory, like a paradigm, like a more than 50% of the population are illiterate in the society and their poverty is also relatively high. Interpretivism, like a good prospect to buy a Interpretive, uh, informative, interpretive, more narrative, a more subjective form of knowledge. Right? Everything is constructed and everything has got uh, explanation, basically. more explan explanatory. Okay? refers to theories about how the human mind can obtain knowledge of the world. Interpretivism. Interpretivist theories talks about how the human mind can obtain knowledge of the world. How they interact with the world. How do they understand the world? What are the factors that helps them to understand the world in a way? It explains the relationship. It tries to explain all these interrelations. It is more subjective. Right? Interpretivism stands in contrast to the basic Tenants of the positivist science, mancha. Jati bani basic isko understanding sir, sa positivist science ko kyu banda exact opposite unsa bani, right? Yeh jite banda farak it stands in difference in in different position of positivist science, mancha. Positivism likhe bancha ta. Only those objects or events that can be experienced directly should be the object of scientific inquiry. There is always reason behind something's existence and that is scientific. There is an objective knowledge out there that can be discovered by the human mind. There is an objective knowledge out there, right? There is the existence of objective, objective knowledge that can be discovered by human mind, but positivism. It is already developed right there, once it is already exists, uh, existed in there, once they're already in existence. Knowledge are uh, already existed in objective form. I feel it's not about subjective. It's already there in it's in objective form. Yeah. 
that can be discovered by human mind. It is easily discovered. So it's not about construction. It's not about human construction. It was in existence there and then people's human mind just discovered it automatically, right? Interpretivism like there is no objective knowledge out there waiting to be discovered. Knowledge has to be developed. Positivism like knowledge is already out there. Let's say interpretivism knowledge uh, is to construct panza in tyo bhanda pani agadi before then what we have to understand is scientific fact based data based specific banera hamle uslai bujhnu paryo positivism lai bujhnu paryo bhane tespai adi scientific inquiry scientific methods use of scientific methods you know? Way of inquiry is scientific. Interpretivism. One of the key the more. It related to human emotions. Subjective things. You can have multiple meanings out of particular subject or out of particular issue. Understanding of different like uh, linkages between people and different uh, societal elements. Kasari interact karsa ki garsa. Tara positivism like scientific method use garne bo x is equal to y one type of egg the interpretivism like x is equal to y the whole tara kick a constant legal like it was a why you know when the relevant figures are explanation versa hey it's a interpretivism like you understand more from the Subjective pattern, you know, it's more subjective. Any like a kegari was no pareta positivism like more objective form, but a pose no pareta. Is that clear? I hope so. Otherwise, we will talk later. Okay. Okay. Positivism and interpretivism. Eh? Positivism assumes that society has objective social facts. We have already talked about it. And then interpretivism. Reality is constructed through the meanings created by individuals. You know? Reality is different like you you are going into the park and then your perspective towards the park is totally different than others perspective towards the park is totally different right but the park is single park there is only one park that we are visiting positivism says like okay mr Achare is in park that's all. That's that's it. Sidhu, it's gone. It's done. That is the result of the research. You have observed. You have seen me there, and then you said, "Okay, Mr. Acharya is in this park." Done. Interpretivist uh, purpose, uh, like uh, paradigm, looks at my visit into that particular park with some reasoning. Yeah? How do you feel about being here in this park? What is the objective of being here in this park? This is the interpretive uh, approach. Society exerts influence on its members. Uh, 
positivism says society exerts influence on its member. Society imposes something to the members of it, to the individual. But interpretivism says our actions are the result of our own meanings, not external forces. Nothing has influence on it. It's all about your own actions. Right? Quantitative data are more in use in positivism, a way of uh, are the positivism paradigm uh, research and quantitative, uh, qualitative uh, information and subjective meaning and objective. We, we knew it already, right? Okay, there are a few other explanations that you, you could go through. There are multiple ways of looking at this uh, perspective, okay? We have only uh, around five minutes left, so we need to finish it today. Okay, concept of management research. Uh, it is also called, or also known as business research as well. Business research is a systematic and organized investigation conducted to resolve problematic issues in or interrelated among the different areas of management. Management research is purposive towards uh, resolving the problem into business and management sector through systematic and organized manner way. Management research is the systematic and objective process of gathering, recording, analyzing data for aid in making business decisions. As a facilitative factor for the decision making, for the more efficient management. It is systematic and objective process of getting the information, discussing the information, prioritizing the problems, and you analyze the information and then you come up with some uh, better ideas for betterment of your business or management sector and decision-making sector, okay? Business research is a systematic inquiry whose objective is to provide information to solve managerial problems. Because management research always uses some management theories to look at the problem. Human resource issue, cultural issues, there are multiple issues that management research looks at. Profit making issues, right? And then profit and loss. The strategic planning and things. Everything is guided through management research. Okay. Nature of business and management research. When the business and management research not only needs to provide findings that advance knowledge and understanding, it is also needs to address business issues and practical managerial problems. It's not about only to advancing the knowledge, the management research. It's about to address the immediate problems. The findings of business and management research might also contain practical implications. What is going on into your institution? It helps to solve the problems in there. And then nature, it's a transdisciplinary uh, one, because the human resource related things has to get uh, derived from uh, maybe from psychology, right? And then some other issues maybe from economic theory. It brings all the theories together to resolve a particular management issues, okay? This is the main thing, okay? And then you can go through 
other points as well. It's a more or less similar of previous explanation. A eh? value of management research in business management, uh, uh, business managerial decision making, identifying the problem, diagnose, uh, diagnosing and uh, assessing the problems and opportunities, selecting a course of action and then implication and then there are other uh, importance of business decision making as well go through and then we will uh, talk about it tomorrow in our very first session okay uh, thank you so much i'll upload uh, i'll uh, send it to you in viber i guess right or in your uh, another facebook group wherever i will send it and you will get yesterday's slide by tomorrow maybe okay Thank you for uh, today and see you tomorrow. If you have any questions, please uh, you may ask me through uh, Facebook.